Cuts to the back post there, Duffy. Great save again. It's put towards goal off the line, and now it's in. Eventually, Bright Prince puts Albion Rovers into the lead. It's against the run of play, but Rovers won't mind. They had one, two, three bites of the cherry before Prince poked home. And it's one they've worked on this time to get the delivery right. Great header from Connor Duffy at the back post. But because they've got so many bodies in there, they keep it alive straight off the training ground. Little cut to the back post. And in the end, it becomes frantic. It's, a, it's nice anticipation. And it's an easy finish for them. But this one comes off for them. I think that's the dictionary definition of a stromash there, James. It is. Recovered quickly. Still had a man free on the right hand side, but he goes into the box. Well headed away by Duffy. That looked a sore one as well, though. Duffy trying to soldier on for Duncan. Works it up to Joseph. Rovers potentially could hit on the counter here. What a ball that is to Bevan. Right in his path. He has the first time shot. Just wide. What a devastating counter-attack that very nearly was for Rovers. And they come inches away from doubling the lead. They do as Bevan stretching his legs. He takes a really good first touch. And I think he does the right thing in taking it early. I believe Aslanoglu moved to Dubai, age 13, joined a Spanish soccer school. He was coached by former Real Madrid great Mikel Salgado. Maybe top my thing or two. Not bad, is it? Back an inch. Lavery is out wide. Uni have picked him out. He has a shot at goal. McKinley on the turn. Back to Lavery. Hits it. Good save, Connolly. The chance isn't gone. Scally. Oh, what a goal! Shea Scally with an absolute rip snorter from the edge of the box. What a hit that was from the midfielder. And Sterling Uni draw level. Only five minutes into this second half. Well, what a mess until it comes to Scali on the edge of the box. Really good play. That's a great touch. Great block. Albion Rovers getting bodies in front. Great save. And Scali, when it comes to me, the shot earlier in the first half when he tries to cut across it, doesn't quite catch it. This one he catches. That is a very, very difficult skill to keep the control cut across it's going away it's unstoppable it is an incredible strike and just off target as McIver Redwood tries to get in behind he's complimented the strikers first half they complimented the defenders the goalkeepers have played their part as well they have you know as I say it's been, it's been a great game you know lots of variety within it some good passing play um, good striker play and you know the defending the goalkeepers have been called into action a lot more this second half so far so yeah it's promising for the rest of the game that's brilliant from Stokes and it's created another another chance here McIninch trying to float the cross in just couldn't get to Akiva Redwood Bevan the touch is a good one he drives at the back line works it onto his left has the goal Joe Bevan this game just keeps on producing and Albion Rovers retake the lead with an absolute thunderbolt from Joe Bevan that is absolutely magnificent from Bevan you know showing that pace he's looking for his strike partner here in Bright he knows it's not on so when he cuts inside and it's one where you're thinking he's going to go to the far post. He goes for power to the near post. It's an incredible strike. Really good play from Bevan. 18 years old. He's a talented player. No doubt about it. The Albion Rovers fans sound their appreciation for Bevan. Tussling for the ball. McMahon. As well to get that back to Fagan. Reed clips the ball over. Prince in behind, can he knock to Bevan? 
Or will he go himself? He cuts it back! Joseph makes it three! Albion Rovers double their lead. And it should be no surprise that it's Naya Joseph with the goal. His 13th this season already. And is that the cup tie? It may well be. It's great play again. It starts from Alan Reid stepping in. It's a brilliantly little clip ball for Prince to get on the end of. I'm like you, I thought he was going to back heel it to Bevan. But he just drags it forward again. We speak about decision making. He gets a head up, fires it. And Joseph's in the right spot, and it's a really cool finish. Takes a cruel deflection off Alex Jeans as well. But a goal for all three of Albion Rovers strike force. Sandy Clark will be happy with that. And there's Prince. Yeah, he's not coming back on, is he? Nah, he's struggling. You see him there, he's struggling, just walking up the touchline at the top of the shot there. He'll be happy with his night's work, though. Oh, without doubt. He's led the line well. First half, maybe a bit frustrating, but certainly second half, he's come alive for the huge part. In fact, that Albion Rovers are 3-1 up. It's not a bad position to leave your side when you're leaving the pitch. Here's Stokes. Getting into the box. He's asked a lot of McKinley. He's done well to rescue that. Is it off for Lavery? Thought about the shot. A half second, then Mack an inch. Picked up. He's won the ball. Shout for a handball. It's come all the way through for Funk. Brilliant save off the post. Ross Connolly making sure that two goal cushion stays intact. Wow. What a save. It's good play. There's a little block in there. Deflection. He's in full stretch. Great save from Ross Connolly. Lavery. Good turn from Wallace in. And a nice touch as well, the ball drops to Doherty. Can they go wide, Vonk? Doherty is bouncing around, it could drop to Doherty. It's blocked, comes back, oh, what an effort. Not far wide at all from Kieran McIninch. Well, the subs are having an impact, aren't they? You know, Doherty running in there. I think when it drops to him, he should hit it with his left foot. There. And he cuts it, he waits to hit it with outside his right. If it goes with his left, I think he's got a chance of hitting the target. And then when it comes to Mack and Inch, well over. What a boost this would be for the club from Cope Bridge. Duncan clips into the middle. Almost dropped for Fagan. Doherty able to clear. Wilson, that's a fantastic ball out wide to Duncan. The flag stays down. He's got plenty of time. Rolls it back to Bevan on the left foot. Just wide. The Albion Rovers fans were off their feet. They thought that was going in. I thought it was in as well. I thought it was. I really did. It's probably miles away. It's not actually. It's really good play again. Great switch of play. Whipped to the front post, flicked on. Connolly flaps in it. And it's just about cleared. Ross Connolly, his heart might have been in his mouth for a second there. Nah, I'm sure he had it under control. The performance he's had tonight. It's a difficult one because it comes quick. And in the end, he gets the ball away from danger. And Albion Rovers have come into the game the second half, taking control, being clinical, and forced Sterling Unit to go and chase it. Well, here's a chance for Albion Rovers to really see this game off. It's Alex McCaw, blocked off the line by Aslan Oglu. Well, that was very nearly that, wasn't it? It was. It's great from McCaw, great anticipation, great skill. I thought he was going to try and chip the goal away. But you have to credit Aslan Oglet for getting back and clearing that. Really good defending. And I know people will be critical and say he's got to finish, but you've got to highlight defending. It's outstanding. Lavery. Good turn from Ben Woloshin. Plays the ball through to Vonk. He's potentially through on goal here. Takes a touch, goes down. It's a free kick. Stuart Luke puts Thomas Vonk into the book for simulation. What do you make of that, Farry? It looked like it from here. I have to say, it looked like he'd overrun it. 
I mean, he has tripped over him, but I think he can avoid it. Did you say he's looking for that, maybe? Oh, without doubt, without doubt. I think he sees the opportunity, sticks a leg. <laughs> and well, it might be the end of the road for Stirling Uni in the Scottish Cup this season. I'm sure they'll still have plenty of success. And there are other numerous competitions. Joseph. He's thinking about a bit of showboating there. Lobs it forward for Bevan, the flag goes up. And that might very well be the last play of the game here at Fourth Bank. Waiting for that final whistle from Stuart Luke. And after the magical journey that they went on last season, Stirling Uni's Scottish Cup comes to an abrupt end at the first round. It's Albion Rovers who progress and face St Andrews United in the second round. Joe Bevan's wonder strike helps Rovers to get through what was undoubtedly a tricky hurdle.